Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll be doing the camera review of the Infinix Note 11 S. So recently we did the uh, camera review of the Infinix Note 11. Now the Note 11 S is quite similar in terms of camera performance and uh, this comes with uh, a 50 megapixel sensor and uh, it's a triple camera setup along with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So let's first have a look at uh, the camera hardware and then we'll see how the camera performance is in this price segment. So before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's have a look at the hardware. In terms of camera hardware, the phone comes with a 50 megapixel sensor, which is an f1.6 aperture and Samsung's ISO cell sensor. There is a second 2 megapixel macro sensor and a third depth sensor. The front camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with f2.0 aperture. Let's first see the camera samples uh, taken in daylight conditions to see how it performs. In terms of daylight conditions, the 50 megapixel sensor does a good job in bringing details and good sharpness levels. The colors are good and they look natural. But at the same time, the white balance seems to be a bit off at times with AI processing. The images are bright and offer good details too. They are uh, pretty much good in sharpness levels too. Uh, when you zoom into the images. We also tried with a 50 megapixel mode, but we couldn't see any major benefits out of it. In terms of daylight condition, most users won't be disappointed with the performance as it is still one of the better cameras in this price segment. The phone does not come with an ultra wide angle camera, which is a missing aspect. Now moving on to the close-up shot, the phone comes with pretty good imaging capabilities and the colors are pretty natural here too. They look pretty good and there isn't any sort of saturation issues. The sharpness levels are also quite good. Sadly, the macro sensor is in the impressive one out there and the colors look a bit washed out in macros. The details are quite okay though. Moving on to the portraits, the Infinix Note 11 s gets you decent looking portrait shots, but the images look a bit overexposed, especially the background. On the other side, the details are good and sharpness levels are decent, although the skin tones are a bit whitish. The edge detection also seems pretty good. Next step, the low light captures. Considering the price segment, Infinix Note 11 s does a good job in low light conditions. In indoor lighting conditions, the noise is kept to minimum, but the details are also quite decent. When light drops further, with night mode turned on, we can get some decent looking low light images, especially for a phone in the 13K price segment. Finally, the selfie experience. The 16 megapixel shooter does a decent job with selfies. The skin tones are quite okay and the overall quality looks good. The sharpness levels and dynamic range is also good. The colors are also vibrant. Since selfies are more of a personal choice, you can judge based on the image shown. The phone has portrait mode for selfies. Here the quality is strictly average as it misses out on edge detection. Moving on to the video recording, the phone can record videos in 1080p resolution at 30fps and there is no stabilization included. Even though the colors look uh, uh, quite okay in the video, the overall quality is average and lack of EIS means it is not recommended for moving videos. The bitrate of the video is also not really impressive. The phone also comes with 2K video recording which is once again pretty much decent without offering any stabilization. The phone also comes with ultra steady mode with good stabilization but it is a crop video and the quality is in the best overall. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with uh, the Infinix Note 11 so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the video. So this is the stabilized footage from the selfie camera so you can judge yourself how good the stability of the footage is in the ultra stable mode. So that is a detailed camera review of the Infinix Note 11 S. So summing up, the camera on the Note 11 S looks good for the price segment it is being offered. It has good daylight shots, decent portraits and good looking low light and decent selfies too. But having said that, video recording looks pretty average, macro sensor is underwhelming and lack of ultra wide might be a deal breaker for many. So that was a detailed camera review of the Infinix 
Note 11s. So what do you guys think about the camera on the Note 11s? Do share in your thoughts in the comment section. So, so this is normal signing off with a camera review of the Infinix Note 11s. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.